Hi, April from the future. I realized that I did not explain well what I was doing in this first part of the video. So what I'm working on is this top layer, which is like an English tool. It's a very fine netting. And what I'm doing is I did one piece of fabric and I cut it, I folded it in half, and I'm cutting a panel and extending it down so it has a train. And then I took this measurement here and I made additional panels and that gives it a very full skirt. So I just kind of guesstimated it and it seemed to work out fine. <laughs> but feel free to use a pattern if you're trying to recreate this. It probably is gonna be easier. Okay, so right here I have this old curtain someone gave me and I just fold it in half and fold it in half again to make, I'm going to kind of cut a circle skirt. If you need to know how to cut a circle skirt, I'd recommend Googling it, but it's very simple. I'm just going to make a line that goes from here, curve to there, and curve right there. Cut that out. For the bottom part of the skirt, I have all this lace, and currently in the pot, I have coffee and hot water that I'm going to use to just, it's pretty bright white, and I kind of wanted to have a little bit more of a soft ivory look, so I'm going to dye this with this. So I pretty much am just going to strain out the coffee, and then pour the coffee water on here, then rinse it with cold water, and um, it usually turns out to be a perfect color. So I dyed the trim lace with the coffee and you can just see it's just slightly more um, ivory. It matches the rest of the lace perfectly. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to sew this all around. Little update of where I am on this process of my lovely dress. Um, so right now I kind of have this all just pinned so I sewed this skirt onto the bodice and I'm trying to decide if I want buttons down the front. Um, I have all this lace that I'm going to probably put on the sides of it. But thus far, I just have the layer of the tool, this curtain layer, and then underneath that I have like a layer of chiffon that I actually recycled from another dress. So thus far I'm really liking it. but. Um, it's just continuing to kind of evolve into what will be my wedding dress. <laughs> so I've just been hand sewing all this lace down and bringing it onto the skirt too. And then I sewed the strap down. Okay, so the next step is going to be sewing some horsehair braid all the way around the bottom of the skirt. And that just gives it, you can see where I pinned it on this side, it just gives it a lot more shape. See how nice this side looks compared to this side where there's no nothing pinned. It's just a little bit more loose, which is so pretty, but I kind of want it to have in more of just like a bouncy hold. I think I got probably, like, I think it was like 17 yards of this thicker tool which will be more stiff for underneath. And then I got, oh, okay, I have the exact number. Then I got nine yards of this 
lighter tool, which will kind of soften this so when it's underneath the skirt, it'll just make it look nicer. But I'm just going to hand gather all the layers of this to make kind of like a tutu for underneath. another video if you're curious to see how the dress turns out stick around and subscribe because I have one more video coming out and if you have any questions at all please comment those down below and share with a friend if you feel so inclined um, thank you